All right, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, it is Infrared here. Uh, a lot of people have been asking Doc, and even myself, if they can get a tour of the server via video. So, I kind of sat down and I was thinking about it. What am I going to do? How am I going to do it? And then I figured, let's just start from the beginning. Um, I'm going to give you kind of a, a background, little history part, and then I'm going to show you the server. Um, about... A month and a half, two months ago, give or take, um, I was watching Yahtzee on uh, The Escapist. And Yahtzee's a hilarious dude. He's British and he lives in Australia. And he does a lot of uh, video game reviews. And one that he did was Minecraft. That day, I decided I want to see exactly what this is about. Because the, the way he goes on, on on his little tangent about the different aspects of the game and it was hysterical but it was also kind of interesting and I was curious because I like creativity I, I love building and creating I love art a bunch of shit so I went ahead and I got the game um, but yeah, I jumped ahead a little bit uh, too far before I bought the game I wanted to go ahead and see what what is the in game uh, features what does it look like because he commented on the quality and a whole bunch of stuff. So I went ahead and I found some videos. Uh, I found uh, uh, Paul Soares Jr. I found Scene Anners, X, suic uh, Homicidal Suicide, I don't know, some tendency dude that now does videos of him shooting guns. Um, whatever. And I found Scott, or not Scott, uh, Steven, SC Joiner. And uh, Scott's his brother, by the way. Subscribe to him. Um, anyway. Uh, I found these guys, and I was watching their videos, and I, it was pretty neat. Um, some of them I didn't think had enough content to them. I thought they had more jokes and smart-ass, like, that's what she said, as opposed to kind of giving me what I wanted. So I, I had to see for myself, and I went ahead and I got the game, and I just started playing, started building stuff, started creating, surviving, completely 100% legitimate. And I was doing that for a while. In fact, if you look at like the beginning of my videos, um, I think I have like three or four videos showing you what I did in my single-player world in the amount of like two, three days. Um, and then I decided, let's go ahead and make a server. Fuck it. Who cares? Let's make a server because I wanted to play with my two younger brothers, which is Night, uh, Night Vision and Splitbolt. Um, I'm lagging my ass off in game now. It's hilarious. Anyway, uh, started building the server and got it up with the default, uh, Minecraft client. And we had fun. Um, it was just stupid building. No real rhyme or reason. <clears throat> and I went ahead and I contacted Steven. And I was like, Steven, uh, I, th at the risk of sounding like an idiot, you have a brilliant mind. A and he really does. He he's an incredibly... Uh, clever and intelligent guy. And <clears throat> even though his brand of video is not my cup of tea, he, he is more of the technical guy, and I'm much more of the creative uh, guy. That's why it kind of works. Um, you know, he's somebody who can look at it, look at, look at a structure and figure out what he can do to make it as functional as possible. And I'm the kind of person that looks at something, how can I make this really pretty? Slap some balls and a cock on it, and we're good. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, Steven sent me back a message, and we started just talking, bullshitting around, and we kind of developed a friendship. And because of that is why I kind of kept on the path of my server. Um, I invited people here, and that's kind of it. But I'll go ahead and I'll take you guys through a tour of the entire server. Uh, this, ser this video may get kind of lengthy, I apologize. Um, I'm not going to edit anything out because it's not nearly as fun. Um, if I just skip to all the video, all the buildings, I kind of want to go ahead and give an explanation of everything. All right. So when we first started the server, this was not the main base. Um, it was some other location, and we all died. Why did we all die? Because we did. So uh, we went ahead and respawned. And we decided to go a completely different route. We didn't want to go back to where we kind of made a little base camp. We wanted to do something completely different. We ended up here. 
this was, as you could imagine, just nothing. <clears throat> this was absolutely nothing. It was like a mountainside. I went ahead and I put in the lava. I built this building. You know, just the basics of it. This is the starter area. When you, <clears throat> excuse me again, when you start on the server, you will start right in front of this building. Um, a lot of people get confused like that, uh, confused by that because everything that I film is in the Spleef Arena. And it's not because I prefer that area over this area. It's just it has a fountain for me to jump around in circles on. So why the hell not? So I went ahead and built this building for my brothers and I. And we started, everything when we did this was 100% legit. Um, we gathered all the materials. We have uh, chests all around for storage, furnaces. Um, nothing really special. You know, we've got all this shit. Um, I forget which one of my subscribers said that they wanted to make a tree farm in here. And I just said, go ahead, have at it, have fun. They did it. I just okayed it. But... <clears throat> Before we had any subscribers, we were in this, and we were on a search for diamond. Um, we have channel mines that go in two directions. This one's mine. And it goes pretty far down. Like, this down here is the route that you take. And it goes right here all the way down to bedrock. Um, I'm, I was pretty new to this, so... I read some shit saying that between, l like, level whatever to whatever is the best chance of getting it. So, I started just making paths off, and I found Diamond. And, I mean, my single player, I found Diamond, like, once, and it was one of the most exciting things in the game. Because, it was like, holy shit, I found the rarest thing in this game. It's awesome. And then I made a Diamond pick and, like, a Diamond sword and some other shit with it, and I was like, yeah, this is awesome, but then it got completely and totally boring and monotonous, um, so I kind of completely abandoned my single player, I have not touched my single player since I started this server, and a lot of you are like, oh, that's stupid, single player is awesome, and I agree, single player is fun, um, that's if you don't have a community that you enjoy being around, I, however, have to, be, I, I happen to be one of the fortunate people that have uh, that has access to a server, which is my own. I host it from my own computer. Um, and I have access to a great group of guys. Um, I don't think we have any girls yet. Um, and it's not that I'm opposed to that. It's just apparently none of them play Minecraft. Anyway, I'm kind of just rambling. But that was the main purpose of this building. This building was just the starter zone. And me and one of my random nights of boredom decided to just keep expanding on it um i wanted a wall of lava my brother built a big fu because i built him his pretty uh playhouse as you can see uh which is kind of a staple um you gotta have this playhouse at least in everything um we have another version of this inside of the spleef town that i will be showing you a little bit later but uh the first couple of people that joined my server were ASDA and a series of numbers and Explosive. Explosive, in my honest opinion, is one of the coolest guys I've met on this game. He is like 15 years old. I, I think it's 15. He may be younger, he may be older, I don't, I don't really care. Um, from Scotland, extremely mature for his age, very respecting and respectable. Um, I gave him admin within the first, like, couple of weeks of having the server up. Actually, probably a couple of days. Um, and he has purposefully sought out to make sure that anything that he can do to help my server become better, he has done. And I'm, uh, truly grateful to this kid. He, he's just awesome. Anyway, uh, enough rambling. Let's move on. This, uh, structure area thing, whatever... We've got a gigantic creeper over here. Um, we also have the beginnings of a, st a sky city. He wanted to make a sky city, but he never really got to it. This guy's been on whitelisted because he hasn't been here in, I'd say, about a month. Um, if he contacts me, I might consider re-whitelisting him. But, you know, I've got so many of you guys out there that are really interested in joining. So, I kind of can't just sit on sit on my thumb and just wait for somebody to come back if you don't have interest or you lose interest that's fine you know to each their own but 
I do have a fan base that would love to play with Steven and I. And what the fuck just happened? All right, now this is a relatively new creation. A as you can see, it's pretty empty. Uh, my brother Night Vision, he has spurts where he loves the game, he hates the game, he loves the game, he hates the game. Um, so he's kind of working on this. It's really nothing spectacular at the moment, but he's a creative kid. He'll figure something out. Um, over here, this castle has a history to it. A uh, pretty uh, hilarious history, but a history nonetheless. This entire castle was built by two people. It was built primarily by Joker Child. Um, and with the assistance of my brother Splitbolt. Um, Joker Child uh, was banned off the server. Why? He was an asshole. Um, I, now, he, let me explain. I am the biggest asshole on, that is allowed on the server. If you try to go above me in assholishness, uh, then the server crashes. So we can't have that. Um, and as you guys will know, if you ever, you know, if you just listen to my videos, I go off on tirades, curse a lot. I'm sarcastic, smartass. And I'm generally not, you know, I don't try to hurt people's feelings and I don't try to be this pompous asshole, even though I come across it. Um, I try to get along with everybody. Uh, and I do appreciate everybody's contribution to my server and everybody's. Uh, enjoyment of the content that I that I provide through my channel but I, I don't know I, I I came from a different type of game gaming community I came from first person shooters playing Quake, Unreal Tournament, uh, a little bit of Counter-Strike, Soldier of Fortune um, from the competitive gamer side we we just were a different breed most of us are sar sarcastic smart asses and you know we don't mean any harm with it but you know we just come off cocky I don't know why, and I wish I could reprogram myself, but it's much more fun this way. Anyway, back to the castle. This was created by Joker Child and my brother. Um, it's a gorgeous-looking castle. I think they both did a good job. I mean, Joker Child, even though he was a dick, he, he was a very creative uh, little dude. Um, you know, he, he did do one hell of a job. He's made a lot of cool-looking shit with the assistance of my brother. So I'm not going to take that away from him. You know, it doesn't matter what kind of disagreement he and I have. Uh, he's creative. He, he makes some good good looking stuff. Let's go to the top. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it looks good. I can't say anything bad about it. He did a good job. Oops. There we go. The only thing that I wish is that I didn't constantly come in to him wrecking, ha wreaking havoc on certain things to make room for his castle. That would have been nice. I don't really know what the fuck this room is. Um, I'm a s yeah, okay. Then this is... It's just like a castle in a castle. With a lot of fucking torches. And randomly placed glowstone. All right. Anyway, let's keep moving. Um, what else do we got? The original spawn area, um, I had my brother make kind of a house, too. Let's go over there. This is the original spawn area. Um, I have since moved it, moved it because, well, I don't fucking like this place. I figured, let's, let's just put them in an area where everything is. Um, we've got the transport system and everything. Alright, let's go over to the Sapphire Castle. Um, this was all done by hand. So a lot of you who are like, oh my god, you have world edit, you just edited everything in. No, this was all done by hand. Um, of course, it's lapis lazuli and diamond blocks. Those were inventory edited. Well, not even inventory edited. Slash gived. Gave. Whatever the proper word is for that sentence. Um... It was Explosive and I who made this. I had an idea. I love the look of the Lapis Lazuli and the Diamond Blocks in the Mesa HD Texture Pack. Um, I love it even more now since I have solid white glowstone thanks to the Tron Texture Pack and Steven willing to kind of, I don't know, agree with my requests. Um, this was just inspired. I wanted a castle um, because I feel that everybody should have a castle. Uh... I know Doc looks more towards practicality. Uh, me, I kind of look towards... I If I think about it in my head, I want to be able to build it. So, you know, 
everybody has their own build style. I want to just build anything and everything that I can think of. So I built this, and I love this thing. You know, some people may th think it's gaudy, may not like the design of it because it, it lacks symmetry, but that's everything I was going for. Um, as far as the building itself, I built, I believe, all of the walls, the gate, uh, half the towers, the entire middle structure, the four towers. There's one, two, and then on the opposite side, there's two more. So those four towers, explosive built. Um, I helped with the interior uh, a fair bit. Uh, explosive did all the platforms, the uh, waterfall, and he and I together did the kind of makeshift chandelier. Um, it's a pretty empty castle. Um, I can't really think of what to add in here. Um, of course, the, it being Minecraft, it's always subject to change. As as people get inspired, you know, they always go ahead and kind of uh, improve and, and change uh, existing structures. So this could very well uh, happen. Now, the top of it. As you see uh, around it, all of the towers that are surrounding this castle, they're not placed exactly apart. They're in different areas. Um, the only rule with this castle was just use these two color stones, nothing else. So all the towers are completely different. None are the same height. It's completely and totally random. Um, with just like how I build everything else, I just build. I don't think about, you know, I, I build stuff and then I step back, I look at it, I adjust it, I do whatever I need to. I don't really have a blueprint or anything that I follow. I just build. And however it turns out is how is it, however it turns out. I end up liking it. Some may not, and I teach their own. So that was Sapphire Castle. What else? Alright, this is the transport system. Um, I'll take a ride on that in a bit. Okay. Up here is the park. Uh, I decided that we needed a damn park. We needed something to be put by the home base. I would love the home base to be populated with more. To make it like a little semi-town uh, or something. Because, uh, you know, this is this is where it all started. So I don't like the fact that we've kind of abandoned it. So in that respect, I believe it was Air Dragon and I... Uh, I said, hey, you want to help me with this? He's like, sure. So... We just came here and kind of built a park. I, I built that area in there, the little whatever it is, the walls of water. <clears throat> Cleared out this entire area. Thank God for World Edit. For those of you who like to do it by hand because you believe you earn something, no, you really don't. You just eventually waste time. So he built this uh, waterfall or water fountain with a lot, block of lava inside of it. I think it looks pretty neat. It's not really shaped any specific way, but it works. Uh, I believe it was Matt Star and Air Dragon as well who built the treehouse. Uh, that's about it. There's really nothing fancy here. I still don't have anything to put in here. I've had a few uh, suggestions as I requested. One was like a basketball game. The other one was like a house for a game show. Somebody suggested me to uh, build a... Um, what was it? I think it was a farm but I kind of can't see the use of it. Uh, primarily because if you go to the Spleef Town, you go right out front, we got like a hot dog stand that gives you the cooked pork, apples, and bread. So a farm really wouldn't make sense. Unless I want to do like a little display area here for Minecart Mania. Have like an automatic tree farm, uh, wheat, uh, sugar cane, and that other one, pumpkin and cactus. Not pumpkin, just cactus. No pumpkin par farms, that's right. My bad. Uh, sorry if I sound like I'm rambling or mumbling. Um, I'm exhausted and I think I'm getting sick. So my throat is killing me. But I must move forward. Okay. I'm not going to show that building to that building. Uh, for two reasons. One, I have no fucking clue who built it. And two, I have no fucking clue who built it. Um, I don't know what they are, what their purpose is. If the person would kindly tell me who built these and what their purpose is and I could learn how to spell then I will d display them but like this I don't know what the hell this is you know alright let's see pretty chick hot tub 
Hot tub time machine. Ugly ladies. That guy's a virgin. I'm not like saying that as a negative thing. We were all virgins at one point in time. Okay. I don't know. You got me. Okay. I think that's a locking mechanism, but who gives a shit? Okay, let's go over yonder. Now, I'm going to give you a brief tour of that in a second. But this is one of the many clocks that we have on the server. Steven is generous enough that he goes ahead and decides that he's going to make these really elaborate creations. But they're never in like one area that I can just say Steven's uh, area oh fun or something. He just kind of decides, oh, I have this inspiration to build. And he builds. Wherever it is is where it is. No rhyme, no reason to anything. Um, I don't know what this area is. I'm going to assume it... I got nothing. Alright, we got a chessboard. So we got some pawns, we got nothing else. Probably yet another uh, work of art that has kind of ceased to be uh, finished. And yet another clock. This is the full scale one. This is the one that you see in the video. Um, I have the original, so bite me. Here is apparently somebody made an elevator for a roller coaster. And this is the Connect 4. And this is something that Scott made, which is Steven's younger brother. Um, I don't know exactly what this is, but I think I recall this is how they attempted to try to crash my server. Uh, they succeeded in timing themselves out, but they didn't succeed in crashing the server. server still ran, but they got timed out for about two seconds and they had to re reconnect. So, Better luck next time, guys. Actually, there shouldn't be a next time. I'll kick you in the face. Hi, sheep. How are you? Yes, I agree. This is fun. Alright, where to next? I said I was going to show you the floating islands. Um, the guy who made the floating islands is an Australian uh, subscriber slash server member. His name is Fellerin. Awesome guy. This guy is creative as fuck. Um, he's done some great work. Um, that's his hell island. He hasn't really done much on this. He just said, hey, look, my own personal hell. Ha ha ha. And I agree. He did one hell of a job on this. If you can see. Uh, he built these obviously from the ground up and then just kind of went with a pattern. That's his tree. All those are placed custom by hand. And this is Hotel Pandora. Um, as you can see, he has signs here. Uh, regular members are not allowed to make signs. That is an admin only thing. Uh, to kind of give you the, I guess, illusion that you're doing something and you're working for your materials, it's kind of like shopping when you come on my server. We have a location, which I'll show you in a bit, called Freemart. It's all the way over there. Freemart has everything that you're going to need. If they, you, there's something that they don't that it doesn't have, it's because your needs are too damn great and you need to just kind of lower the bar a little bit and you'll be fine. Trust me. I know this to be true. But, anyway. Uh, this is Hotel Pandora. I really don't know what to say about this. Um, I think the inside look, looks really nice. I don't think it's fully complete yet. I don't think these islands are done the way he wants them to be. Um, by done, I mean finished the way he wants them to be. Um, I think he has a little bit more work that, he, that he's going to be doing on them, but he does not play very often. Um, lives in Australia. Big time difference. Yeah. Okay, so he's done. There's lava creeping down. I wonder why that is. wonder if that was intended. Who knows? Well, somebody built something up here, so I don't know if he did it on purpose or or what. Well, if he did it on purpose, then 
okay. If he didn't, then contact me, fella, and if you need me to remove it so you don't die. So this was the Three Floating Islands of Joy. Uh, he did one hell of a job. I, I know I say that a lot, but it was really cool to kind of log into my server and see this dude built floating islands. And then buildings on top of them, and then kind of like planted trees and shrubbery and shit around to kind of make it look a little bit more authentic. So I love that. Um, it was unique. So it was really neat. Alright, which brings us to Over Yonder. Over Yonder equals the Spleef Island. Uh, the Spleef Island, if you guys watch... <coughs> excuse me. If you watch, like, my very first Spleef Arena video, you see this arena with no top, no nothing. There's nothing here except for, like, grass. Actually, not even in that. Um, in the first video, you just see the arena. That's it. And then, like, those two buildings over there. Uh, let me go up top of this. Those two buildings right there. And the rest of this is nothing but, like, solid stone. And now, look at it. I mean, it's gigantic. We have so much in such a small area. So let's go ahead and explore the Spleef Arena. Kind of give you guys a walkthrough. Again, I'm sorry if this is long. But hopefully you like it. Uh, well, hold on. Let me go out here. Um... Fellerin gave me the idea for how to color these. I was originally just going to make it black and white. He's like, well, why not red and black and then blue and black for the colors of the uh, opposing teams? So I was like, sure, why the fuck not? Um, I decided to put the kind of pixel art uh, in the carpet. And inside of these, uh, the tunnels themselves, this entire Spleef Arena was originally designed by Split Bolt and Scott. Um, we talked about it. And we wanted to redesign and give it more of a Coliseum feel. So uh, Steven and I decided to go ahead and adjust it. And then we made it close to this, but not quite. And then one night I was like, I want to take that idea that we had and just improve upon it and try to make this look even better. So I went ahead and I made my adjustments to it. And it turned out really nice. I, I, I do love this. But this is the hallway for the blue team. As you see, it goes through a tunnel of water. This was Steven's idea. And then it goes to this, which each one of these is a dispenser that is full of diamond shovels. Um, that was done by uh, Explosive. Because of the blimp on the top, even though it's glowstone, this is a dark-ass arena. Now, it's still, you can see everything, you can play just fine, but I wish it was brighter. And I don't know how to do that. I, I wish there was a way that you could, like, take a glowstone or take a piece of glass and throw, like, ten torches in it, which increases the uh, light by a lot. And you can have, like, spotlights and shit. I don't know. But I wish I could make this brighter. This is the red area. You go through a tunnel of lava. I did this without god mode on, so I died, like, ten times. Was a pain in the dick. Alright. Um, this is bedrock. Uh, I, I kind of... Th I, I thought it gave it the <clears throat> kind of rugged sports look to it. Um, so that's why I made it. Up here we have the benches. And <clears throat> I, I need to expand on this a little bit more because I think it's a little bit too bland. I still think it's pretty creative, but I think we can do more and make it look better. Um, this is the control panel, the, well, the controller's box. Um, if you click this, it will directly go to the doors. So as you see, the doors will open and close from this lever. Now we have a scoreboard over there. Um, best of three wins. Well, the first team to reach three wins. So each one of these is wired all the way underground and around to that box. So if we click this, voila. A little bit of a delay, but not much really you can do about that. Uh, what else? Uh, the blimp was originally uh, was originally designed and spoken of by Venzo, which is one of my subscribers. He entered in the contest. He didn't win, but I really loved his idea, so I invited him anyway. Uh, he did the blimp, and then I asked if he could do infrared, kind of like I sponsored the stadium, because I don't know. I'm, I have an ego that needs to be fed occasionally. I guess that's what you people are going to think anyway. <clears throat> what else? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Steven's house that he's yet to finish because uh, he believes that building structures half-assed and making them look ugly is cool. Um, that's one. 
No, the, the problem with Steven is the same problem with me. Um, we have an idea, we think it's awesome, and then we get sidetracked. Wow, I'm lagging my ass off. We, we have an idea, and we're like, yeah, we want to build this idea. We're going to build this gigantic, gigantic, enormous uh, minecart system. And then we're like, no, we're going to make videos about Black Trom. No, 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 better yet. We're going to sit on Ventrilo and jump around in game and just bullshit. Because that's constructive. And that's what we end up doing most of the time. We just sit in, on Ventrilo and just bullshit the entire time. And we could be doing something far more constructive. But he and I suffer from the same problem. Anyway, uh, let's move on. Church was made by Joker HD, uh, who is a moderator on my server. Uh, the Duck House was made by Onyx Tiger. The s Tower was made by my brother, uh, Splitbolt. Freemart was made by myself and Explosive. Uh... I pretty much put out, put down the groundwork. He came in behind me and cleaned up all the shit that I fucked up. And then I sat for like an hour and made all this. It is three floors of just materials. You should be able to find anything that you want in here. Uh, the only thing I don't have is Bedrock, TNT. Because I don't trust any anybody on my server. And I've been proven that that's a good uh, decision to not trust them on my server with TNT. Um, so we got a bunch of shit. Three, uh, three levels. You should be able to find anything you want. We also have the world's largest cactus, or cacti. Uh, it's six high. That's right. World record. I don't know if that's true. It just sounded funny. Got a room back here that uh, I built and explosive kind of cleaned up and added more uh, aesthetics to it, which is neat. This is a tunnel that I have no idea where it goes or what it does. Uh, future site of Eats Road. I believe that Eats Road is completely busted on multiplayer servers. I may be wrong. I don't know. But I don't care. Because I, <clears throat> I don't like transport systems. I don't even like the minecart one. So why would I care about that? Um, now, I would love it on my server. Don't get me wrong. Anything anybody wants to build, I'm, I, I welcome. Because I like to have a, a variety of stuff. I love people just to kind of jump on and create something that's kind of unique to my server. Uh, it kind of gets boring if you see a bunch of castles and shit. But, you know, as long as they don't look the same, I'm cool with it. Alright, over here. Under construction, do you dare? Which is Muick. You guys know Muick. Muick is a awesome designer. He makes a lot of cool looking shit. Um, love having, having him on the server. He's very eager to help. Um, not bad, sir. See, this is why that guy rocks. Look at that. That's a legitimate half door. So, good job, sir. Um, I've never been in this house. It's under construction, obviously. So, he must have did this last night. I think. I don't know. And I really should have brought a drink down here. Because my throat hurts even more. And it's dry. Yay. Okay, over here we have the Sugar Cane Mart. Made by Gaspar. Uh, Gaspar was the winner of the... One of the winners of the contest. Uh, this house was made by Scott, which is Steven's younger brother. Um, I don't know how to explain it, really. It's a house that is his creation. Yep, that was a house, all right. We got, uh, Explosives House over here. This one I thought looked kind of unique. Um, it kind of, to me, when I look at this... It looks like a house that was cut straight down the middle. So you kind of look in and you can see everything going on, but you never, but like they can't see you. I know, weird, but th that's what I look at, or look, uh, that is what I think of when I look at this. Um, there's a bunch of shit in it. Um, when I say shit, I don't mean it in the negative term as in this is a piece of shit. I just mean stuff. So this is Explosive House. What else do we got? 
Uh, we got a hospital. This was made by Mellow Lemon. Um, Kurosaki Clinic. Apparently it likes anime of some sort. And over here, this is the uh, children's wing. But as I said, this is uh, the exact design for Split Bolt's house. All right, what else do we have? Yeah, <laughs> excuse me. We got a strip club. Uh, it's ugly. It's a piece of shit. I've told him that, but I guess that kind of goes with the strip club uh, theme because they're all dirty and infested with syphilis. Uh, Chemdork's Beaker House. Uh, Chemdork's creative. Wait until you guys see what he's been working on. I'm gonna show a little bit of a like a, a teaser to it in this video. And I'll, I'll point it out and say, yeah, this is the teaser. Um, I want to do a dual commentary with what he's done. He's put a lot of fucking effort into this, and he's done a fantastic job. This dude is seriously gifted. Um, which, it's Minecraft, so it's like saying he's... Like, an extremely intelligent, mentally disadvantaged person. But whatever. <laughs> Okay, uh, we got X's uh, Joker HD's house. Uh, it was an X. He made that like the first day he was here. We got a gigantic cake house. This is made by Jimmy Face. He's been on the server like two times. We have Doc M's house. Yes, he finally joined joined the server and decided to build a house. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit of it. Uh, I don't really know what what's going on here, so I'm just gonna kind of look up and leave. And I'll wait for him to do a video about it when he's finished it. But it's it's a work in progress, I believe. Uh, this is Club Ice by Explosive. <coughs> Excuse me. Club Ice by Explosive. Um, this is where we did one of the Tricoms where we were dancing and shaking our ass. And Steven was putting ones in my G-string. I wear a G-string if I am or am not at a uh, strip club. Um, I just think it looks makes my ass look good. And it does. I mean, I get compliments on it all the time. And it's primarily because I can kegel 100 pounds. Can you? I don't think so. Uh, moving on, we have the Twin Towers. Twin Towers were made by Joker Child. Uh, you know, the formal, formal, formerly a member with us, but is no longer. Um, I'm not going to tear down. I tore down everything else that he did, but I'm not a sentimental kind of person. I really just don't give a shit, but I kind of feel bad because I think these look pretty decent and I do think that what did happen involving the Twin Towers was a uh, tragedy so I guess kind of out of respect for that and the entire situation you know I keep it up whatever uh, what else do we have let's go over yonder over yonder alright we have this stuff over here not really too impressive this is the first two buildings ever made. This one was made by, I think Mellow Lemon did this. I think Onyx Tiger did this one. I I could be wrong. It could be vice versa. It's been that long. We have the blacksmith uh, shop. We have this new structure. I don't know who made it. We have my station. Ugh, excuse me. Um, you guys have already seen my station. In all of its prettiness. Uh, so nothing new has been added there because I finished it like two days ago or a day ago. What else? We got a gas bars with the fuck house. Yeah, what the fuck? We've got cube. I think Clutch Prodigy made this. I don't know. He's Canadian and he likes Canadian things. Um, this is a Gerald Bridge area. I don't really know what point this has a bean here but it is here we've got my maze the maze that I added two lines in and fixed the fuck up that somebody did somebody decided that they were going to build a connector from here to the maze to climb it, jump over it now the downside with that is the way this is set up it goes higher than the limit of leaves leaves have to be within like four blocks of a log I have this five high so if you break something off, the very top layer of everything, once you break one block, all of the top layer will come off. Um, or if you break a block that's like attached to one of the blocks, it works the same way. So I had to refix some shit that people destroyed. Alright. 
we've got this. I don't know what it is, but we have it. So yay us. We have Scott's uh, Tetris song right here. And then we have the Eye of Sauron's Tower from Lord of the Rings. Some One of my subscribers slash members gave me a schematic, so I just imported it. He didn't build it over here, although it would have been probably cooler if he did. Because then I would believe that he made it. Um, at this point, I don't believe him because I didn't see him do it. Ha! Huh. Pirate ship made by Matt Star and Explosive. Uh, this thing t is turning out pretty damn good. Um, let me get a side profile of it. Yeah, it's turning out pretty good. They got a little bit of work to do on it, but it's going well so far. Um, I'd love to, I'd love us to do a community project involving like a cruise ship, uh, something more modern as opposed to this. This is very ancient but cool. Um, if only I could devise a way to have pirates and ninjas fight together. Well, not together, but against each other, and film it. And just give it to you guys on YouTube because I love you that much. Okie dokie. Do 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 do. My throat is sore. Um, what be this? Z Master House. Helix is mine. <coughs> Excuse me. The Helix is yours. Well, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. I have no idea what the hell this is, so we're moving on. What do we got left? Oh, yeah, the music blocks behind uh, this. Uh, you guys have seen the videos about the music that we have on the server. Uh, we got Fur Elise. We've got Happy Birthday, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, um, and stuff. All right. Over here, we have a gigantic Pac-Man. A three-dimensional Pac-Man that has... A uh, kind of a bar in it. It's kind of neat. I like this. I thought it was really original. Why the hell do I even worry with ladders? Oh, there's a downstairs area to this. Where the hell is it? Probably right where it says downstairs. Well, basement seating. And eh, nothing really special, but it does look cool from the outside, and the inside is just a nice little touch to it. Kind of a cafe. Alright, uh, we've got a gigantic uh, ear of corn. Uh, one of my friends that I've known for, like, a long time. Um, we've been playing shooters and stuff together for fucking ever. By the way, when I say shooters, I, I don't mean console stuff, so please don't send me PM saying, Oh my god, you play shooters too? I love Halo. The response you're going to get from me is that's not a real shooter. Unless you can use a mouse and keyboard, it's not considered a shooter. Um, my opinion, of course, you know, it's my opinion. doesn't really matter. You can think and feel however you want. Anyway, my friend uh, named Spoon from Nebraska, I uh, told him because there's only one thing interesting with his state, it's the corn. He needs to build a gigantic ear of it. So he was doing that. He hasn't been on in a few days. He needs to get the hell on so he can finish it. Uh, we have Gasper's thing. I don't know what to call this. Uh, I will call it a lump of shit until he gives it a name. Okay. We have Joker HD's House Tree Globe Circle O Joy. From the side. It looks like a nipple crying because it was just pierced by stairs. It's hot. Very hot. I bet you that's exactly what he's going for. He's going to listen to this video. Infra, how did you know that was what I was going for? I didn't think I was able to convey that message through my art. But you got it, so now everyone will. Um... I'm, I, I try to look for signs to tell me what the hell this shit is. I have no idea what this is. One of you is probably going to look and be like, it's fucking a mob elevator or it's mob counter or it's some shit. Why didn't you know that? Well, it's because I don't know shit like that. This isn't my area. 
Steven would know what this is. Steven probably built this knowing him. I'm just going to go out in a random area and just build stuff with signs and water and glass. While I listen to emo rock music and touch myself. He sounds just like that, by the way. A few beers in him, just like that. Uh, funeral, uh, not funeral. Um, uh, this place, uh, graveyard. Uh, we have a prison inside of here, which I've made a video about. Um, yeah, not much else to say. We have a White House being developed right now by Clutch Prodigy, who I honestly believe plays about two hours a day. Um, or every other day, who knows. But he's on, and he built, it, it's really kind of cool, because he'll log on, and I, like, I'll only talk to him for, like, five minutes, then he leaves, and I go where he's been, and he's built, like, four hours worth of work in that short period of time. I don't know how he does it. I think it's a gift. And you just can't teach that. No, it, that was a, you know, that he was given that when he was birthed. When he came out of his mother, he had the gift of Minecraft speed building. Now, on to this. This is the sneak peek. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and kind of show you an overview. This is the science uh, center that uh, Chemdork is building. It is massive. It is awesome. Uh, he's been working really hard on this. So I, I want to show this off in a video by itself. So that's all you get. Um, I have no idea what that is over in the distance. Let's go look. It'll be the first time for both of us. Uh, I promise I'll be gentle. I don't know what this is. Okay, let's move on. Uh, okay. This is Mount Olympus. Um, or at least going to be Mount Olympus. Um, the way they have it designed is with a specific key code uh, or uh, combination will determine whether or not these are open and shut. However, regardless of where they are, you can still jump across them with no issue. They're like right on the edge. They're exactly the amount that you can jump. Um, so it's kind of pointless right now. Um, this was Scott's idea. Um, so Scott's been kind of doing this. Uh, I should help, but... I only build when I have inspiration to do something. When I have something in my head that I can't get it, get out of my head and I and it, like I have to build it, then I go build it. Um, we've got Z infrared or Zinfred. Apparently I'm Zeus. Damn right I'm Zeus. Fuck yeah. Pretty neat looking. I think it's because of my love of glowstone. Well, this glowstone. Fuck the original. It's ugly as dog shit. Um, I don't know what here what's here either. I think people just clear out shit, and they're like, yeah, I'm going to build there, and then they forget. What else do we have, people? Um, Redstone Museum. This is one of the first things that were, uh, well, among the first batch of shit that was added to the server. This is made by Steven and Scott. Goes through a bunch of different things on the, uh, as far as redstone circuitry. Ore gates, um, and gates. I can't explain any of this, so you just get the names. If you have any questions, message Steven. Uh, this is a gigantic dick. Um, a dick with a very big head and a small base. Um, this is Steven's original house. You know, I made a video. Steven goes ahead, he decides he's going to join my server, and within 30 seconds I hear, oh, I'm going to build I'm gonna build an observatory. Oh yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And he just goes off and he does it. Um, it's hysterical to watch. Uh, this kind of got destroyed by a creeper. Somebody said, sorry about the creeper, and that's been staying there for like a month and a half. And as you can see, when something happens and you have other things that you want to do, you kind of forget about previous projects. So, yeah. Um, okay, over this way, we have a kind of a diving platform. This goes from all the way to the max height to bedrock. And you just jump down it. It's kind of neat. 
Uh, I believe Joker HD is the one who made that. If anybody helped him with it, I don't know who you are. So, my bad. There we go. My mouse acts up whenever I record. Who knows why? I don't. Alright. What direction am I going in? Okay, so what was this? For sale by Joker. Apparently he is trying to sell uh, underwater property. That crook. Trying to sell marshland in Florida. Or swampland. Alright, so this is a pathway to, I think, another town that Joker was designing. I don't know if anything came of it, so... Let's go look together. You want to hold hands and skip and sing? Let's do it. Um, follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Do, 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 do. Put him up, put him up. I'll fetch with one paw behind me back. I'll fetch with my eyes closed. Ruff. Lack of sleep does this, I'm sorry. That's all of this. Um, I believe. There could be other shit that I'm kind of forgetting. Um, people are busy. So let me warp to 8-bit. This is something that I just recently did yesterday. Not the area, but I added we'll like another pixel art to it. Um, this is the pixel art slash art area. Um, we got a lot of shit here. And again, when I say shit, I don't mean legitimate shit like a lump of shit. I mean just stuff. Um, so I will list them. We've got Samus, Yoshi, Mega Man, Vegeta. We have, I, I forget exactly what this is called. It is a, uh, Karibo, uh, show. And then there's Mario in it. We've got Trunks. We have a Babam, but it's not really a Babam. We've got a. Okay, I don't know exactly what this is called. I I I know it's Pikachu, but I think it's a different version. I think it's called Pichu. I could be wrong. I probably am. If you know, let me know. Uh, Kirby. Uh, this is explosive skin, which I think it's a man in a dinosaur costume. We've got a cat, cow. Transsexual. Who knows? Alright, we've got Final Fantasy IV characters. We've got Cecil as a paladin. Kane, who is a dragoon. We've got Edge, who is a thief. And we have Edgar, who is a uh, bard. My uh, next objective is to make a gigantic dialogue box in between he and Tella. That says you spoony bard. That's Tella calling Edward a spoony, uh, spoony bard. Okay, what is this? Pokeball, Mario Mushroom, Mario, Luigi, and then, last but not least, is Link. Um, let's go see if there's anything else. Warp list. So, oh, that's right, we got a computer. Um, so, as you all know, Steven is a fan of Redstone. And because Steven is a fan of Redstone... Steven builds a lot of shit. Um, I think this is the random number generator or something. Maybe. I don't know. I give up on this. That's his computer. Uh-huh. Can you guys see all this shit? Yeah. Um, and here's the best part. My server doesn't lag. <laughs> I've got this massive, gigantic monstrosity of shit and the server does not lag a bit um, I'm lagging because I'm recording and I have about 30,000 things running in the background because I wasn't smart before recording and said hey you know what I'm going to do I'm going to close everything down so we got this uh, his gigantic enormous fucking computer um, is he building an another one I, I guess. Because if one's not enough, two's even better. Simple math. I don't really know what to say at this point. <laughs> uh, we got a lot of shit. 
I don't I don't know what that is. I guess it's an X. That goes to this. Maybe one day Steven will explain most of this shit to me. Um, I just look at him like, wow, that's fantastic. I can't do that, but I can put one together as far as a real computer. Does that count? Probably not. What is over there? Over there. Oh, that's one of those like spaceship thingies from Tron. Do we have anything left on the server? Um... We have Broville, which is a new town being made by CryptoKid slash. Actually, I don't know his YouTube name. I just know him as CryptoKid. Um, he's making a town. I'll probably show that off whenever I get around to it. I'm, I'm purposefully not going to do it in this video just to be an asshole to him. <laughs> and you might say, well, why are you doing that? I don't know. It's kind of like th the thing we do. We sit here and just fuck with each other constantly. So. Haha. Ha. I'm going to show off somebody's not even finished yet uh, blimp. Uh-huh. And not your stuff. Kitaro is making a blimp, and that is the outline for it. And I don't know what this shit is. I mean, I I'm assuming this is th the clock again. I don't know who made it. And... Oh my god, guys. This is the lost city of Atlantis. I found it on my server. Yup. I have no idea what it is. So yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video now. Um, I'm not editing any of it. Uh, I'm going to apologize ahead of time if I sound rude or... Some of you like make comments about like the way I come off. I come off like an asshole. I don't intend to do that, so I apologize if I do. Um, if my voice sounds weird, I'm thirsty, I'm sick, and I'm exhausted. Um, I love my server. I do. I can't say enough good things about it. And I know it's mine, so it's kind of stupid of me to do. Others should kind of say it's good, and I should just thank you. But I know it's good. Um, uh, and the reason why I know it's good is I see the amount of effort that everybody puts into it to make it better and better and better. Um... We got guys who, like, once they have free time, they just hop on here and all they do is build. And <clears throat> we've got people who will stop what they're doing to drop the hat, to help people if they don't know how to do something, to teach them stuff, to, you know, if it's, if it's a really big project, you know, they, they'll just stop what they're doing, they'll help with it. Um, we've got admins who are on their game who, you know, they realize that they're in a position of power for the betterment of the server, so they stop everything that they're doing if they are needed by somebody else. Um, we have no griefers. We have no issues. And everybody gets along. Everybody has fun. Um, it's a great place. Um, it, it's a lot of fun. Whenever I log in, I'm, I'm always greeted with a, you know, a hearty hello and a flagon of mead. Uh, <laughs> that was corny as hell. But it, it's, it's a good time. Um, so, yeah. Subscribe. Like the video if you want. If you're interested in joining, please uh, go watch my uh, video about joining the server and how to do that. Uh, if you're interested in joining to kind of help this calls or, you know, kind of lighten the load for me when it comes to running a server, please feel free. I'll have a link in the description. Uh, yeah, that's really all i got to say. Uh, I've had a lot of fun doing this stuff with these guys, and I, and I plan on having more uh, videos in the future involving them. I'm still looking for some nighttime gamers, so if any of you are out there, please don't... I've had a few of you who are like, Yeah, I play until about midnight. No, I'm not talking about midnight. Midnight is nothing. I play until midnight. Everybody play, plays until... Well, not everybody. But a lot of people play until midnight. Midnight is not late. Um, I need people who are playing until like 4, 5, 6 in the morning Eastern. Um, I want the, that late night crew. I want there to be a... Po uh, like a, a majority of people on my server for like ever like I, I, a continuous uh, growth so there's never a dead time like right now it's a dead time um, in about an hour or two it's going to pick up but I want there to be people on my server 24-7 building that's my uh, main goal um, that and a pony I do want a pony so if any of you have a pony 
I want one. Um, but it has to be from the My Little Pony series. Um, I think one of them was named Sparkles. I love that one. Make sure she smells like uh, strawberries. And make sure she comes with a comb for me to uh, brush her hair. Yes. Because I love ponies. Anyway. Um, being very long-winded and just drawing this out. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, donate, do whatever you got to do. Take care, guys. See ya.